This guide shows you how to uh, drag and drop uh, pictures onto your email to add them as attachments. First of all, you need to create a new email. So we're just going to click the new email button in the top left hand corner here. This will open a new email window. Now we need to drag this new email window to one side. If the new email window occupies the whole of your screen like it does here, you can click this middle button here, which is the restore down button, which makes the box slightly smaller and allows you to move it around the screen. To move the box around the screen, all you simply do is move your mouse somewhere near to the top of the, uh, the email in the bluey section of the, uh, the, the window hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse around. When you've got the box in the desired position, just let go of the left mouse button. I'm gonna move mine now over to the right hand side. Okay, so we need to get some pictures up on the screen. So we go to our pictures folder. So I'll click on the start button, go up to pictures, click on pictures, and as you can see, I've got a folder of sample pictures. So I'll just open up the uh, sample pictures here for a moment. OK, so I'll drag the sample pictures over to one side of the, uh, the email so I can see a clear area of the email window. So I'll drag some of these photos into that email to add them as attachments. So let's just drag Chrysanthemum. OK, and then I click back to the window underneath and I'll click Desert. I hold the left mouse button down, drag it across. OK, and I'll click Penguin. So we hold down the left mouse button on penguins and drag it across and then let go of the left mouse button. OK, so as you can see here, the pictures are a quite a large size. Um, not too bad for emailing, but probably not the best. We could probably reduce those a bit. Now, Outlook 2010 actually has a function built into it to enable us to uh, automatically reduce the size of these pictures. To use that function, all we do is we just simply click File, OK, and then we click the Info button if it's not already selected. And the option at the top here is resize large images when I send this message. So we click the little radio button to the left of that. OK, and then we click back to the message tab at the top of the screen. OK, so now Windows will automatically reduce the size of the, uh, the email uh, attachments when they're sent. At the moment, it's still showing its full size um, uh, 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 images, but it will automatically, as long as this is selected here, resize large images, when I select, send this message, it will automatically resize them. So now we just carry on typing the rest of our email. So here we go. We type in the person's email address there. We'll type in the subject pictures. You can actually type the email and then uh, attach the pictures after. As long as you do that before you've sent the email, um, that's that's absolutely fine. In fact, I'll demonstrate that by adding one more picture in a, in a moment. Um, so we'll just write, please find the attached pictures as requested. Okay, so we want to add one more picture to um, our uh, email. So we just click back on the pictures window and we could go to any folder we want to. So if we wanted to go to another folder, we can we can scroll around or navigate around the screen and go to other folders and add pictures from other folders if we if we want to. Um, I haven't got very many pictures on this uh, demonstration PC, so we'll just uh, use the sample pictures for now. OK, so say if I wanted to add this picture of the lighthouse. So Literally, all I do is I just move my mouse over the picture of the lighthouse, hold down the left mouse button, with the left mouse button held down, drag it across onto the email, anywhere on the white part of the email, and then let go of the left mouse button. And as you can see there, the image has been uh, has been added. I'm just going to do a quick check just to make sure that it's still set to resize the pictures before we send the email. So I just click on File, and yes, the button is still collected selected to say it's going to resize the images when I send this message. Okay, so we just go back to message now and then we click send. 